Hal, great to have you on Yankees Hot Stove. Tell us how energized are you by this signing? Well, I'm tired from last night's events. It was a long night, but uh, what a great night. Uh, this is a, a great young player, one of the best Japan's produced, and he's played on the big stage. He's been in high-pressure situations. Uh, he's going to do great with all that. He's going to be great for us. You know, there are a handful of teams in this, obviously, the Dodgers notably. You heard all those stories about whether maybe his wife preferred that he play on the West Coast. Ultimately, when did you sense, because the talks were very secret, it was impressive, when did you sense the interest level of Tanaka? Well, I, I think we knew, look, uh, he, he knows the history of, of, of the Yankees, and uh, obviously we've we've had a presence in Japan for, for a number of years, and we've had players from there, of course, great players. Uh, so I, he, he, I think he, he, I think we were certainly near the top of this list. I mean, I'd, I'd like to say that. Do I know that for sure? No. But I think we know that now, that he, he certainly wanted to be here and play on this, this greatest of the stages. Now, obviously, one thing that's been brought up, he's had a heavy workload, even though he is young. He's 25. Scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being the highest, what level of concern was that for you? Well, we were concerned, but, uh, you know, the, everything in the physicals looked great. I mean, there's just no way to know. Every, every human being's different. Uh, he certainly pitched a lot of pitches, but he's had very few problems so far. So we will see, but we're going we're gonna, to we're gonna take care of him and make sure we don't overwork him, but uh, I think he's going to be fine. Now, one thing you've heard, the, the number 189 million has been out there for a year, few years. You've always said trying to get under that was a goal, not a mandate. Obviously, this will put you over that. Clearly, though, you are comfortable with paying a luxury tax knowing that the players that you've signed this offseason really give you a chance to get back to the playoffs and to the World Series. Yeah, I, I don't know how many times I've said it the last year and a half, Bob, but there, there's, there's no doubt it, it was a goal. It made sense for several reasons to be under it, but uh, it wouldn't come at the expense of fielding at what we consider to be a championship-caliber team. That's what the fans expect. That's what we're going to do every year. You know, you've talked about this, and people go back to your dad, the way you reinvest in the product. I mean, bottom line, Hal, is that you want to get this team uh, back to a championship level, and, and that's what you've done. So congratulations to you in terms of doing that. Well, thank you. You know, we did the same thing in 08. We had a lot of money come off the payroll, and we took just about every cent of it and then put it back in. But again, that's what the fans expect. That's what, that's what we know they expect, and uh, that's what has to be done if you want to want to be a contender every year. Now, how much did not making the playoffs, because you alluded to several years ago, not making the playoffs last year kind of make this commitment happen, sort of change your way of thinking? Well, I, I, I'm sure to a certain degree it did. I haven't really pondered that, to be, to be honest with you, Bob. But there's no doubt that the injuries we had last year were a, were a significant part of us not making the playoffs. I mean, there's just uh, it was a it was a devastating year when it came to injuries. But um, I'm sure it was part of it. But the bottom line is, we had money come off the payroll. And uh, we started to uh, reinvest it the way we always do. Uh, and uh, people can say all they want about the age of the players we got and so on and so forth. But veterans are veterans, and uh, that's what you need on the, in, in New York as far as we're concerned. And we're just uh, we're very thrilled to the guys we signed. Well, you've got some guys with playoff and championship caliber, battle-tested in Ellsbury, Beltran, McCann, and, and now Tanaka. Certainly he knows that from the Japanese point of view and playing in the Japanese leagues. How much do you think the core of this team has changed in sort of the outlook? Well, I think, again, I think we've added some really good veterans, and I think we've added good veterans who are good leaders, both on the field, off the field, in the clubhouse. Uh, they think they're going to set a great example for the younger players. I mean, they're just great all-around individuals in addition to being great major league ball players. So I think it's changed a lot. Our offense, of course, has, has improved significantly over last year. Uh, we've got a good pitching staff. Uh, you know, with the addition of Tanaka, and uh, I think we're going to be—I think we're going to be tough. Hal, final question from the end of last season, which of course was disappointing, to right now. How different is your perspective and your attitude and your excitement level? Well, I'm very excited. I'm very excited for every single guy that we signed, and. Uh, and uh, Tanaka's just the, the last of several, as you know. And, uh, but, again, I'm looking forward to seeing how they, how they perform. I know they can perform well in New York, and uh, I think they'll fit in great. And it's going to be a different-looking team, that's for sure. And uh, I, I think there's a lot to be excited about. Yeah, it's going to be fun to watch. Fi final thing here real quick, what is your message to the fans in terms of all these signings and the way you've changed the face of this team? Well, look, I, I think if there was any doubt that uh, the one eighty that I didn't mean what I said and what I've said many times the last year and a half about the 189, I, I think it needs to be clear now that, uh, you know, we were we were right at 189. I wasn't convinced, as I said in Phoenix last week, that our starting pitching was where it needed to be, and, and we we, uh, we added to it in a, in a big way, and that's what we're going to do. We're not going to stop until we think we have a team that, that can contend. All right, you were up almost all night, so we're not going to keep you here much longer on the show. Hal, thanks for being with us. Look forward to seeing you down in Tampa and then again opening day.
We'll be there, Bob. Thank you.